Hey everyone, today we're bringing you an exclusive look at luxury living at the Murano Condominium in Center City, Philadelphia. This building is extremely unique in Philly and there isn't anything quite like this curved all glass building. I'll show you what the condos look like and also explore all the awesome amenities of this building. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning about the Murano. Hey everyone, this is Chris Furman and this is my channel, Living in Center City, Philadelphia. Welcome, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Now, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna learn more about what it's like to live and enjoy Center City, Philadelphia, make sure to tap that subscribe button and click that notification bell right next to it so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. We actually get a lot of folks that are reaching out to us that are looking to relocate here to Center City, Philly, and we love working with them. We love helping you guys out on your journey. So if you're thinking about making a move to the area, have any questions about particular condo buildings like what we're talking about today, uh, any of the neighborhoods here, even to the street level, we'd love to help answer any questions that you have. So whatever the question, don't hesitate to reach out. It's not a bother. It's what we do full time every day, day in and day out. Uh, we really do live and breathe Center City, Philadelphia. All right, let's dive in. All right, let's talk about the location of the building. Now, if you go on to Zillow or Realtor.com or anything like that, look up a condo listed here, you're generally going to see the neighborhood listed as Rittenhouse Square. Uh, you can consider this area of Rittenhouse, but technically it's actually located in Logan Square, which starts at Market Street and goes north from there. Uh, so this area is really where Rittenhouse and Logan Square meet. So uh, going south on Market is where you're going to see uh, Rittenhouse and then going north of Market is where Logan Square is going to be. That being said, I would say that the vibe here at the Murano in this area is more like Rittenhouse-ish than Logan Square-ish. Uh, the building is right on market as we talked about, which is certainly more of a commercial corridor residential area. I mean, there, there are apartment complexes here and other condos, but a lot of Market Street going to the east, you're gonna find a lot of the major um, office buildings and things like that. So if you want a more residential vibe, a little bit south, more into Rittenhouse, that might be really the area that you're looking for and the Murano might not be a good fit for you. But hopefully this video uh, gives you a taste of the area and I would really encourage you to come down and see in person. Just text me if you're coming to the area and I'll show you around. I'll get I'll help you get a good understanding of this area in particular. Living at the Murano is going to be extremely convenient for you. The Murano is close to a lot of locations like Rittenhouse Square. So if you look right now, uh, the Murano is the building with the red marker right on top. And if we come right over here, this is Rittenhouse Square. This green patch of trees that we're looking at, that's Rittenhouse Square. So from Rittenhouse to the Murano is maybe a five to 10 minute walk, depending on your walking speed. Um, so it's very convenient to that and everything that you find around the Rittenhouse Square area. So that'd be the shops on Walnut Street and all of the fine dining cafes uh, and whatnot along that area. So a very desirable area and it's really nice to be within about a five to 10 minute walk of the Rittenhouse Square. In addition to Rittenhouse Square, you're also gonna be convenient to Logan Square. So the Murano again is the building right here with the red marker on it. And then right over here is Logan Square. It's actually a circle, or at least it looks like a circle. That's just because how it's designed, but it's called Logan Square. Uh, so you're about a half a mile from that particular location as well. So again, maybe a probably a seven to 10, maybe 12 minute walk to that area and all the amenities on uh, the Logan Square area. So that'd be the Franklin Institute, the Barnes Foundation, and uh, lots of other uh, museums are in the area and lots of places to bring kids if you got kids or if you just like uh, exploring some more fine arts, then uh, there are lots of locations around there, including the Rodin Museum. And of course, the famous uh, art museum is right down the parkway. So this is the Logan Square that we're looking at here, so that circle. And then straight down, a straight shot down the parkway here is the Philadelphia Art Museum. So this is the one famous for the Rocky Steps and all of that. So lots of uh, green space in the area uh, if you want to walk around there. Also very convenient and very nice. And it's also within about a half mile of Dilworth Park or City Hall, one of the other five original squares that William Penn designed into the city uh, centuries ago. So we're looking at the Murano over here with the red marker, and then we're just gonna come right down on Market Street to go to City Hall, 
and Dilworth Park. So we're just going to go down right uh, down Market Street, which is a very businessy district. As you can see, lots of tall buildings. Most of these are indeed offices and not condos, but there are some apartment complexes along the route and condos and whatnot. But most of them are office buildings. So right here uh, is um, City Hall. It actually took us right down uh, JFK. Market Street is uh, the one right over here, but uh, both of them go straight down um, from the Rano essentially to City Hall, uh, Dilworth Park. So in this area, you could do a number of activities, especially around the holiday season. Great Winter Park opens up their ice skating, but in the, uh, the summer season, spring, they also have uh, pickleball courts there. So uh, a couple of neat amenities um, for you to be within, again, maybe uh, seven to 10 minute walk from the Rano to get straight to City Hall. And also convenient at City Hall would be the 15th Market Street SEPTA station. That's the uh, public transit system here and that can get you to a number of locations in the city very conveniently and speaking of public transit in addition to City Hall and the 15th of Market Station if we swing around here and go over the bridge and right over the river so let's get our bearings straight again here's the Murano and then right over here is the Schuylkill River so that's the river right there with all these bridges going over it so right over that bridge right here we are looking at the 30th Street Station so 30th Street Station is also another SEPTA stop, so the public transit stop if you want to get to the subway system. Um, but in addition to that, this also has Amtrak uh, and regional rail if you need to get a little bit further outside of the city um, into the suburbs for work or for a meeting or what have you, or if you're going to commute to, uh, let's say, New York City or DC for a business trip or weekend trip on Amtrak, you could conveniently walk over to the 30th Street Station and get there probably within about uh, maybe five to seven minute walk uh, right over the bridge to get there. So extremely convenient. And continuing on with our convenience theme here, so looking at the Murano again with the red marker. Uh, the Murano is obviously sort of right in the heart of the business district, uh, right in Center City. So as you can see, there's lots of tall buildings and most of these, as I mentioned, are office buildings. So uh, the headquarters for Comcast is right over here, the really tall, shiny building. Well, actually, both of those are Comca Comcast. They have two very large uh, towers in the city, and there's a lot of other uh, offices here. So if you're going to be living at the Murano and working anywhere down here in Market or JFK or one of the surrounding streets, it's obviously going to be extremely convenient to walk to work or potentially bike ride if it's a little bit further. Obviously, we already talked about public transit or just hopping on a quick Uber. But again, I mean, the Murano is really within walking distance of a lot of buildings here. So if you're gonna be working downtown, extremely convenient. And we already talked about the 30th Street Station, but I'm just gonna zoom around here and go back over uh, to University City. So this is University City that we're looking at here, right over the river. Uh, this, to give you bearings of what we were just talking about earlier, that's 30th Street that we're looking at. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So now you can see more of University City and then West Philly would continue past University City if we keep going down. Um, so if you're gonna be working University City, let's say uh, you're a professor or in academia working at University of Pennsylvania, which is right here, or Drexel University, which is essentially right next to it, or some of the other colleges in the area, the Murano still could be a convenient location if you wanna be more in Center City proper versus University City. So you could hop right over the bridge to get to University City, but you could technically still live in uh, Center City, more of the Rittenhouse area if you'd like. Or if you're working in the medical community, you can see these cluster of buildings down here. I'll try to zoom in so you can see. Um, this is the essentially medical cluster that's going on here. The, the famous CHOP is down here. That's the Children Ho Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, one of the best in the region for children and you've got a ton of other medical complexes down here. So it's not just CHOP, and they're even building uh, much more right now. So if you're gonna be working in the medical community, doctor, uh, et cetera, over there, uh, the Murano could still be a great option if you don't necessarily wanna live in University City where maybe a lot more students are living, right? You wanna live in Rittenhouse and Center City proper. Um, so the Murano could be a great option for you to experience living there, that nightlife and everything, but being able to, uh, to commute fairly easy over the bridge and to University City to the medical community. So Murano all in all could be a great option for someone working in many industries in a city. Now besides work 
or just commuting around the city, there are a lot of other benefits to this particular area where the Murano is. Um, so we were obviously talking about the river over here, um, but there are a lot of fitness and health benefits if you're into fitness, if you like walking trails uh, to see some nice um, views of the city or like bike riding or jogging or whatnot, or if you have a pet and you need to walk them, uh, the Schuylkill River Trail could be a great option. So we're looking at the Schuylkill River right here. And you can see it's got a couple things labeled Schuylkill River. There's a whole bunch of different names for this, but it's essentially the Schuylkill River Trail, uh, Schuylkill Banks, Schuylkill Boardwalk, all of that stuff is down here. I'm um, gonna zoom in a little bit. So what you see right here over the water, that's the Schuylkill uh, Boardwalk. Great place to again walk, uh, ride a bike or jog, um, get some great views of the city. And there's the Schuylkill River Park uh, proper um, right over here, which has, you can probably see those tennis courts in blue. Over there, there's uh, pickleball courts, basketball courts, and there's a couple dog parks, a small dog park and a large uh, dog park in the area. So extremely convenient to get onto the Schuylkill River Trail to zoom around, or swing around, I should say, just so you can see again the perspective of where the Murano is in relation to the trail. So this is, again, the boardwalk over here. I'm just gonna come down, zoom out a little bit, just so you can see where the Murano is. So the Murano's right here. And then you can just walk right over this area, hop onto the trail, um, and then go enjoy the sights, dog park, or what have you. And if you are into, you know, a little bit more uh, time in the trail, you like running some mileage, putting some mileage on, then you can go up here, up past the Philly Art Museum, along the famous Boathouse Row, and keep going along Kelly Drive. Really, you can go for miles and miles. The Schuylkill River Trail goes way past Philadelphia. So if you want to do a uh, half marathon, you could definitely do that, just going straight up the Schuylkill River Trail. So all in all, great fitness options. And in addition to the trail for health and fitness, you also have the Fittler Club. The Fittler Club is a health and social club right over here right along the river in this uh, Aramark building. This is Aramark's headquarters right here. It doesn't look that fancy how we're looking at right now, but it's an all glass building and looks really nice when you see in person. And the Fiddler Club is on the bottom two levels of this building. It's a very nice uh, social and fitness club, one of the best in the city in my opinion. Each club sort of, there, there's a number of clubs in the city if you're not familiar, and each club offers sort of a different, um, kind of targets a different demograph. And I would say that this is potentially one of the, just one of the nicer well-run clubs in the city, in my opinion. I'm actually gonna be putting out a video uh, talking about the Fiddler Club and comparing it to other uh, health and social clubs in the future. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so you don't miss that video. But if you, you know, obviously if you live at the Murano, it's gonna come with a, a fitness center and a, a nice fitness center, um, but it's not gonna be anything like a full-blown health club. So if you're looking for Pilates classes, yoga classes, bike classes, um, a full-blown weight set with heavy weights, things like that. A, you know, um, very nice pool uh, for swimming and all of those types of amenities, then you're definitely wanna go, to, you're, you're really gonna wanna join the Fiddler Club, um, especially if you live at the Toronto, because as you can see from here to here, it's probably a five minute walk, uh, maybe a little bit more but it is extremely convenient and close for you. And also for convenience, you're gonna have Trader Joe's literally at your doorstep. So we're zooming in right now to the Murano. This is the parking garage of the Murano. And this is the entrance to Trader Joe's right here under this canopy, if you can see that. So this is the entrance to the Murano right here. So from that entrance to Trader Joe's entrance, you're literally talking about 100 to 400 feet, somewhere in that range. So door to door, two minutes, one minute, three minutes, something like that, extremely convenient. Um, so if you forget something, need to run out to the store, very convenient to go right to Trader Joe's. If you're not familiar with Trader Joe's, it's a specialty store and it's extremely popular. So if you haven't been in one, you'll probably love it. But that's one of the nice amenities about living at the Murano. So really all in all here, there's a lot of reasons to live in this area. The Murano is really convenient. It's a great area to call home in Center City, Philly. Let's talk about the building itself now. The Murano was built in 2008 and is a high rise condominium going 42 stories tall and has approximately 300 condo units. 
Built with curved blue glass, the building was named after Murano, Italy, which is a town famous for its glass. The Murano was designed by the renowned architecture firm Solomon Cordwell Bunyaz and Associates. There are one, two, and three bedroom units available, all modern, all beautiful. Let's take a peek inside a unit before we talk about the amenities, but you're not gonna wanna miss the amenities section, so stay tuned. Uh, so I'll show you the 60 foot indoor heated lap pool. If you're looking for lots of natural light in your home, the Murano could be a perfect fit for you as the units have a lot of natural light through the many windows that you can see here. Certain units have some pretty cool curved glass floor to ceiling windows in the living room area. These are neat units to view. And most of the units here have balconies. The floors look beautiful and you'll have state-of-the-art kitchens. You'll get nice sized bedrooms here also with lots of natural light. You'll get gorgeous bathrooms with glass showers, double sinks, and a tub and a master in particular. And of course, in-unit washer and dryers. Let's talk about the luxury amenities at the Murano. You're gonna get a 24 seven concierge with a very friendly and helpful front desk staff. If you like to stay healthy and fit, the fitness center here is really well equipped. Um, but also, as mentioned earlier, the Fitler Club is right around the corner. It's literally a five minute walk. So if you're looking for a full blown health and wellness center, uh, you definitely wanna consider becoming a member there. It's really a great club. And I'll be making a full video about the Fitler Club at some point in the next few months. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video coming up. Continue your fitness journey by taking laps in the 60 foot indoor and heated swimming pool. There's also a community room with a kitchenette for hosting. And this area is connected to the outdoor sun terrace. And all of the units here in the building come with parking, which is in the attached parking garage. It's worth noting again under this amenity section how insanely convenient Trader Joe's is. It's something like 100 to 200 feet from the entrance of the Murano to the entrance of Trader Joe's. So if you need to get groceries on a whim, you can do it extremely conveniently. Real quick, before we dive into pricing at the Murano, as much as we love making these videos, we love helping people relocate to the Center City Philly area even more. So if you're thinking about making a move in the next few months or even the next few years, reach out to us so we can let you know what's going on here in Center City Philly and keep you up to date on what's going on. Well, to give you an idea of pricing, the median sale price here in 2023 was somewhere around $600,000. So expect to pay somewhere in the 400s or 500s for a one bedroom, and maybe somewhere in the 700s or 800s or even the millions uh, for a two bedroom at the Murano. Pricing is gonna vary based on the floor of the unit, uh, the views obviously, the layout, finishing, size, etc. And condo fees are gonna be somewhere around maybe six to a thousand bucks per month for a one bed, and maybe 900 to 1400, somewhere in that range approximately for a two bed unit here at the Murano. 
Text me if you want to see a unit here at the Murano or click here to see a full length video walkthrough of a condo at the Murano.